Hi, I'm Anton from Anton's Mindstorms. In this video, I'm reacting to some comments uh, on my previous video about these, uh, this uh, hot rod here, uh, because in my previous video, I, I explained how to calculate the motor speeds of the behind motors here to uh, make this car go around the curb. And um, because you can't have the motors run at the same speed that would push the car straight forward instead of um, making it go around the curb. In my last video, I explained how to calculate the radius for turning and set the different motor speeds. And someone reacted that this is not the right way you should do torque factoring. So um, in this video, I tried the torque factoring and compared the performance of this uh, SIM car with torque factoring to um, the other um, um, way of calculating the motor speeds uh, in my previous video. Um, to compare it very precisely, I built a lap timer that um, with a laser distance sensor here and whenever a car crosses the sensor it starts a new lap so i can very precisely time how fast i can um, run uh, drive laps with the, the different um, styles of control um, and actually i made three versions so one is the uh, system for my previous video another is the uh, system with torque factory and I made a third one um, with torque factoring and Ackermann steering so uh, I made a steering system here where you can see that the inner wheel turns more than the outer wheel so they are aligned at least um, when you um, extend their axis they uh, cross more or less the same uh, point here as um, the, the 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 axle the extended axle of the rear wheels so all wheels are running around the same center and this reduces friction so this in theory um, would be would give even better performance so um, let's have a look at the differences between uh, all of these setups in this setup we're calculating the motor speeds of the back wheels uh, depending on the amount of steering that you receive from the gamepad. So this is the program where you see um, it first calculates the steering and then with a tangens uh, operation it finds the radius and then from that derives the wheel speed. Lap times are a steady 8 seconds and here in the last lap you can see that um, I will pinch off a few milliseconds of the 8 seconds, but I haven't been able to drive much faster than this. Now next we are using uh, in this setup DC torque control. So instead of calculating the speeds for the back wheels, we're just uh, only setting the voltages and we are reducing the voltage of the wheel on the inside of the driving curve uh, relatively to the steering so proportional to the steering we are reducing the voltage there so the car um, <laughs> is easy to take around the bend and you can see that this leads to much faster lap times if you like this video remember to hit the subscribe button i really appreciate that for the final test, I used torque steering and also combined that with a different mechanism to turn the wheels. With this mechanism, the wheels don't turn equally, but the inside wheel turns more than the outside wheel. And this results in a better geometry where the center of the turning circle is the same for all four wheels. And here's my record time, 6 seconds 62. Contrary to the other steering mechanism, this one isn't geared down. This makes the steering a bit wobbly and for me it was harder to control the car. Okay, as you saw, the uh, setup with torque factoring was faster, seriously faster, one second faster. And I think it's not really because of the torque factoring, but because of the way that the spike prime controls motor speeds. When you drive a motor at 100% speed, um, there is some buffer in the full uh, power for the motor to accommodate and regulate the speed. When you just set the um, DC power, so just regulate the voltage, 
you can put the full voltage into the motor and the top speed is faster than when you use speed regulation and I think that uh, makes a difference here so um, I'm not sure that the torque factoring system is really faster it's just that because of torque factoring we can put a higher voltage on the motor and the top speed is higher and um, the handling doesn't really uh, become much worse so ultimately I think the idea of torque factoring is uh, is quite a good idea and um, if, if this would be raised the torque factoring with full power on the motor would of course win um, I've seen a little performance increase with the Ackermann steering um, but I think that was because the steering here allowed the car to make tighter turns and when you can make tighter turns you can run a uh, shorter line uh, through the whole circuit and um, shave off a few tens of seconds of the um, round speed so ultimately um, the thanks to the comments on my previous video this car um, was a, is a much better performing car uh, with uh, a, the right steering mechanism and um, with more voltage to the motors it just drives faster um, and um, we verify that in a very uh, handy and fun experiment um, i hope you enjoyed this video remember to subscribe thanks for watching and hope to see you in the next one bye bye